Most NBA legends have kids, and I'm sure most of them hope that their sons follow in their footsteps and play basketball and turn into great players just like they did. But we've seen that that's not always the case. Like with Michael Jordan's sons, John Stockton and his son, and Patrick Ewing and his. But some actually are looking like they may be able to live up to the hype of being the son of an NBA player. So today we're looking at 9 of them. The 9 greatest sons of legendary NBA players. But we're only looking at guys that haven't made it into the league yet. And I'll admit not every father on this list was a legendary player, but they were at least pretty good and are well known. And for the fathers that just weren't great, but their sons are, we have them as honorable mentions. First with Cole Anthony. His father Greg was a solid role player for his 11 year NBA career, but he never had the hype that his son has around him right now. Who was just the number one rated high school point guard in the country, and the number two overall recruit. He looked great as a senior, and hopefully he can keep up that same pace at North Carolina. And then the second and last honorable mention goes to Nico Mannion, whose dad was Pace Mannion. And he did play in the NBA, but didn't have a career even worth talking about. Which is why Nico's just an honorable mention. But right behind Cole, the man was the second ranked high school point guard in the country, and it was a top 10 recruit in the nation for good reason. Now it's still early, but if things go as planned, both of these men can easily have much better careers than their fathers. But with that out of the way, here's number one, Jaden Hardaway. Now Jaden is son of NBA legend Penny Hardaway, and just like his dad, he's a tall point guard, standing at six foot five. He had a decent high school career where he put up 14 and two on 40% shooting but that only got him ranked as the 494th best player in the country and only a two-star recruit in the class of 2018. So he's not the best right now, but we did have to mention him because of who he is and the potential he still has because of that. And as you can tell, he's had a much different start than his father did, who was instantly a star player and put up 36, 10, 6, 4, and 2 his senior year and was the National High School Player of the Year. So Jaden might not be as naturally gifted as Penny was at his age, but it's still possible for him to develop into an NBA player one day. I mean, from what I can tell, he's got a solid all-around game and a decent foundation to build around. And then of course, his dad recruited him to Memphis because he was his son. There's plenty of time for him to develop and learn to be an even better player. So in maybe three or four years, we might be having a very different conversation about Jaden Hardaway. Number two, Jackson Williams. Jackson Williams, son of former NBA champion Jason Williams, first looked impressive when videos came out of him at 13 years old, crossing people and making behind the back passes like his dad used to do. Well, he's 16 now and he's still not a great athlete and he doesn't have the insane handles or anything like you might expect. But he still does have good handles for his age and is still a pretty good shooter, can drive the ball, has great court vision and still breaks out the fancy passes every once in a while. He came out hot and built up some hype with those early videos, but from what we've seen so far, I don't know that Jackson is ever going to be able to play nearly as good as his dad did, or even make it to the league. But he's still really young, and there's still a chance, so we'll see. Number 3, Ron Artest III. The resemblance to his dad's physical appearance is almost as identical to his name. Well former name. But I mean these two really look like twins. And they're built like it too, with Artesta III standing at 6 foot 8, 215 pounds. The downside though is that he was only a two star recruit out of high school and put up just two points a game at Cal State Northridge this past season. But that's really because as a kid instead of playing basketball, he tried modeling and never played basketball seriously until he hit a growth spurt as a freshman. So he's really only been playing for a few years. But still, he's got the raw athleticism of an NBA player, and his dad was one of the best defenders in the league. So if he can develop his offensive game to even just a passable level, and then get his energy and defense to a similar level as world pieces, he could definitely make it to the league. Now I don't think that it's too likely, and I wouldn't really bet on it, but with who he is and how he's built, it's definitely a possibility. Number 4, Sharif O'Neal. Sharif, son of Shaq, is a 6'9 power forward that weighs 215 pounds, and I think he's going to be great in the league. I mean, in high school he proved that he's extremely athletic, can shoot mid-range, threes, handle the ball, dunk on anyone, block shots, and already has a great post-up game. He's had Shaq to teach him how to be a big man his whole life, but it's also great to see that he's already developed such a complete game. And due to this, he got recruited by a lot of colleges and ended up ranking in as a 5 star recruit and the 29th best player in high school according to ESPN. 
He ended up with UCLA for this season, but due to him needing heart surgery, he had a red shirt this year. But I'm sure this next year is going to be a huge one for him. Now Sharif's going to have to put on some size if he wants to stay as a power forward when he gets to the NBA, but I think that's easily going to come with time. If things go as planned though, I think he'll definitely be in the league within the next few years. Number 5, Jordan Lowry. Lowry is Allen Iverson's hidden son, which you gotta assume came from one of his side chicks. Because anywhere you look, he's not mentioned as one of his kids. And I don't even know how it got out there that he's Iverson's son, but it did. And anyways, that's besides the point. We can't say too much about Jordan Lowry though, because he's still so young. But what we can say is that he's definitely got the AI handles and ability to finish at the rim. Then again, it is easy for him to look so great on the court now, because he's younger, but he's probably not going to be too tall when he gets older, which could be a problem. So for him to become great like his father, he's gonna have to hope he's just as athletically gifted and as pound for pound tough as Iverson was. So hopefully we hear more from him once he gets to high school. Number 6, Bol Bol. Bol Bol is of course son of 7-7 Manu Bol, and out of all the current sons, he's the best player right now and the most proven with him about to enter the 2019 NBA Draft. He's a 7-2 center with a game designed for today's NBA, and he got to this point when he started playing basketball when he was 4 years old, and quickly lived up to his dad's reputation by growing to 6 foot 5 by the time he was 12, and 6 foot 10 at age 14, which landed him his first D1 scholarship offer in the 7th grade. And ever since then he's been a natural, gaining national attention throughout his whole time in high school and turning into a 5 star recruit that was the 4th ranked in the country at one point, which put him as a predicted top 5 or 10 pick for the 2019 NBA draft. And he came out strong for Oregon putting up 21 points and nearly 10 rebounds in 3 blocks a game on 52% from 3 but suffered a foot injury which put him out for the season. So now worried that he might be injury prone, people have him getting drafted outside of the lottery. But Bobo's a freak of nature that can do it all at 7 foot 2. Now I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't turn out to be a great NBA player or his body couldn't hold up in the NBA, but personally I'm pulling for him and I think he can be a top NBA center one day. Number 7, Dennis Rodman Jr. DJ Rodman's game didn't look the best his first couple of years in high school, but he just finished his senior season and things are looking up for him. He's a 6'6 guard that put up 22 points and 9 rebounds a game for his school. And that right there already starts him off a lot better than his dad, who never even played high school basketball. And he's already a lot more skilled on offense than Rodman ever was in his playing days. And the best part of DJ's game right now is his shooting ability, especially from mid-range. So as you can tell, DJ and his dad are completely different players, and he said that's intentional because he didn't want to live anywhere near his dad's shadow. One thing he does want to have in common with his father's game though, is his legendary effort and energy on the court. So he said he's been working hard on adding that to his game. And overall he looks like a solid player, but surprisingly he's only received one scholarship offer from Cal State Fullerton. But if he can play with the same energy and even half the defensive ability that Rodman had as a guard with a jump shot, then he'll have no problem becoming a much bigger prospect within these next few years. Number 8, Zaire Wade. While Dwayne Wade's son is one of the more talked about sons of NBA players, he's still got a long way to go. He's a 6'2 point guard that just finished a huge breakout junior year of high school and received his first scholarship offer from Nebraska. In his senior season, he'll definitely be looking to get more offers from bigger schools, but even if he doesn't, it's alright because neither did his dad, who was only recruited by three schools out of high school. But with kids like Zaire who have played all their lives, get to train with NBA players, has a future Hall of Famer as his father and mentor, and has access to the best trainers in the world, there's no telling how great this next generation is going to be. For now though, Zaire isn't close to any national rankings, and he's not as good as some NBA players have been in high school. But I think he'll definitely make it to the NBA one day. Number 9, LeBron James Jr. LB Double J has been one of, if not the most talked about NBA player's son for years now. He's currently only 14 years old, standing at 5 foot 10, 150 pounds, and has been dunking since he was 13. Certainly already looking like he's going to follow directly in his father's footsteps, at least as an athlete. The man, er, boy, even got his first college scholarship offer when he was 10 years old. And then the next year got offers from Kentucky and Duke. 
And every year LeBron James Jr's games developed, with LeBron saying that he's already a much better ball handler and three point shooter than he was at that age. We talked about it with Zaire and the fact that he's had access to the best trainers and basketball programs since he was born, and the same goes for James Jr, which explains why certain aspects of his game are better than his father's was at his age. Now just because LeBron's an all time great with a kid that loves basketball doesn't mean anything as we've seen in the past. But with the way things are going and how he's progressing, physically and on the court, LeBron James Jr is already showing signs that he could turn into another all time great like his dad one day down the line. And that's gonna wrap up the video. Definitely comment your guys thoughts on these 9 players plus the honorable mentions and whose future you're looking forward to the most. If you enjoyed the video don't forget to like, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time.